Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two new to us apples. This is the uh, Sugar Bee Apple, and it's actually a new apple. And then this one is the um, um, Opal Sweet Apple. So, we're gonna try the Chilean Fresh. Chilean is the brand. And um, it says, Chilean Fresh is now harvesting sugar bee apples in the elevated orchards of Washington State. This new variety features half of its parentage from the Honeycrisp apple. Which is my favorite. It's a juicy aromatic flesh shears when bitten into and the apple has just the right amount of sweetness. The flesh is creamy white. The skin is uh, red blush, bicolored ranging from 30% to 100% red. Mm -hmm. um, yellow, or and eight ounces of this apple is 130 calories. Um, I wonder how many, how much that weighs. I, will you go get the scale? I know, seven of them was two pounds. I didn't think to get the scale, but that, that is, um, I think that would be interesting to know. Yeah, we can compare it to this honey crisp. Like yes, it. because, yes. Um, so eight ounces, so we'll have to put it in ounces. And the bag, how, can you show the size of the bag? This is a two pound bag. Two pounds was 397 and how many apples did you get in there five seven six, seven, seven for 397 ounces we want ounces we want eight ounces okay so this is only about six ounces yeah so this is six and a half i mean yeah, five and a half five and a half so eight ounces 130 calories you're probably only getting i don't know 110 calories or right. something for that apple so this is bad. the apple i love these are my honey crisps yeah, <laughs> much smaller. You turned it off. Yeah, I turned it off. Oh, I didn't know you wanted to weigh it. I'm sorry. I didn't know you wanted to weigh it. <laughs> the, the apples here are 5.5. The right. hungers that I usually buy, they're 11.4 or 11.5 on Big, big difference. Yeah, that's twice so that, the size. So, so that honey crisp apple. If you're wondering like, why you pay a dollar anywhere from a dollar ninety nine to two ninety nine a pound, well, they're big apples. So you think that's probably about one hundred and sixty calories or something? Oh, maybe yeah. more. Yeah, who knows? So you um, want to go ahead and cut this? Yeah, go ahead and cut it. It's just something about biting it into it and all that stuff. I don't, I don't bite into my apples. I always cut my apples. Well, I think it's nice when you share it to um, cut it. Uh, when you're sharing it with someone else. Last night, um, Kevin was eating a Honeycrisp apple and Amelia was here. Yep. And um, she had eaten dinner, so I didn't think to offer her an apple, but but she kept looking at him. I saw her, She, you could smell it. And it smelled really nice and fresh and you could hear the crisp of it. And she kept looking over at him. <laughs> And finally, Kevin started cutting it for her, and he said, do you like the skin on or off? And she said, off. So he peeled the skin off, and she ate every bit mm -hmm. of that, didn't she? So this is the um, uh, the sugar bay. It's good flavor. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. It's not as sweet as the honey crisp, but it's also not as firm. It's a little softer. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the actual, the flesh of the apple, the white part, um, it's a little s squishier, a little mm -hmm. mushier, and it comes apart. Like, like they said, it kind of shears. It really right. does kind of shear off. How do you feel about that? Oh, I like could have to eat two of them though. They're so small. Right. <laughs> but no, I love the flavor. The flavor is really, really good. I don't eat apples like Kevin does. I like them, but it's just not something I grab. Um, I think it's very, as someone who doesn't eat apples, to me, it's very, very sweet. Yeah, well, I'm thing about the honey crisp, sweet the thing about the honey crisp is a little sweeter. Yeah, I can't eat it. Not a lot, mm -hmm. but it is a little bit sweeter, but I, I would buy these, definitely, I would buy these. And these are actually small enough to where you could throw them in a, a lunch bag or something and take them with you. Whereas this is a little big. I mean, that can make a whole, it's a whole meal almost. But well, I was going to say, I didn't look up the calories for the Honeycrisp apple uh, because I didn't think that Kevin, I didn't know he was going to be comparing it, but I'm glad he did. Um, but just knowing that the sugar bee isn't quite as sweet, uh, you know that the Honeycrisp has to be more calories. Yeah, you would think so. so. Like I said, it's very, very close though. I mean, there's really not much difference in sweetness. I think, 
I think the honey crisp is just a little bit sweeter, but but it could be just my. I'm just, just thinking me. if you want to watch your calories, then these sugar bees would be good to yeah, get because apple. they are smaller. Yeah. Um, so, but it's super sweet though. So if you like a sweet, crunchy apple, then then it's really good. And the skin, I also like uh, something I like about the honey crisp is the skins are not really. Um, they don't get all in your teeth and your throat and want to choke you and stuff. Right. Uh, they're softer skin. They're not really tough. The honey, these uh, sugar bees are the same way. They're they're a softer skin too. Right. So it's good. I like that. And, and Kevin described it perfectly. That's why I didn't try to describe it again because I feel the same way he does about the crispness and the uh, the, the the flesh of it. That's what they, yeah. they call it. Okay. So now this one is uh, an opal apple. It says opal apples are medium to large round fruit. They may weigh up to 14 ounces. Wow. Well, How so much? That, so that, that, this one's six. Oh. And this is about as big as you could get them. Um, so twice as big as that, that's That's, that's as big as they had them at our store. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he meant by as big as you can get. Yeah. Um, they have an almost iridescent lemon yellow skin and slight resting at the stem. This apple has a soft yet crisp cream colored flesh with a sweet taste and a slightly tart finish. Huh. Crispy, flavorful, and sweet. Naturally, this is what I thought was really cool about this apple. Naturally non-browning. Opal apples won't brown after cutting. At all? It says they won't. So an opal a day will keep your salad will will keep your salads and your kids' lunch boxes crisp and fresh. Hmm. So yeah. like if you're gonna make I'm wondering, I'm really curious about the flavor of this because we make like fruit salad, but we don't cut up the the fruits for it until the last minute because we don't want anything to turn brown. And many times you don't, if you're doing anything with apple, you don't want it to turn brown. It's kind of like when you peel a potato early, you know, it'll turn brown. So it's interesting that this doesn't turn brown. Mm -hmm. So I want to see how sweet it is though. This is what it, like. um, it says one medium apple. It didn't give me ounces. Um, one medium apple is 81 calories. So I would think that's about 81 calories. And these were $1.15 a pound. Right, and you picked them out individually. Yes, yeah. Um, I looked online, they do sell them in bags, but our, at our Walmart, we just didn't see them in bags. We saw the sugar bee apples in bags, but these were individual, so. That's amazing, the difference. Is it, is, is this the one you intended for me? Whatever you want, whichever piece you want. I like the flavor, but you, the sweetness is so different. Yes, it's very, <laughs> very different. It is good. It's a good apple, almost like a cooking apple. Yes. Mm -hmm. The skin's tougher. It is tougher. Remember I was telling you that the honey crisp in this, in this um, um, sugar bee, the skin's not as tough. These are kind of tougher this is, Yeah, this is a tougher skin. I like this apple. I like the flavor. And if you buy it and don't have a an incredibly sweet one right next to right. it to compare it to, then I think you're really gonna like it too. Um, it's just hard to want to eat this apple when you have mm. the sugar bee next to it. Um, the um, the meat of it, I the do like it though. It's tougher too. It mm -hmm. doesn't shear off and, and break apart like the these other two. Mm -hmm. But it's I do enough. like it it's because. Close. It reminds you of, a, of other yellow apples. I think that would be a good um, a, dip, a good dipping apple or something mm -hmm. like that because it is firm. Yeah. I mean, it would the probably other good one would be, and stuff The too. other one would be good too, but I just really like that. And yeah, I do think you could use that at fruit salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had a good flavor to it. It would. And uh, fruit salad is already so sweet sweet enough yeah i was worried um uh, they said it had a slightly tart finish and i do get the slightly mm -hmm. tart finish but i was kind of worried about it at fruit salad but i don't think it's it's that tart to where when you make your fruit salad you use a uh, cool whip and and all these other uh fruits that i don't think this tartness would bother you no. so i definitely think you could use that i think so. and i think that's cool to know that you could put that in a lunch box well, or whatever i must suggest we do something oh okay i'm gonna leave these pieces out oh for like 
what, an hour? Let's leave it for an hour. Okay. And we'll come back and we'll see. We'll see if it gets we'll see how We'll see what they look like in, in an hour. Okay. Okay. So out of the two. Just out of two, I like the sweet. I like the sweet version. I would buy the sugar bees. Um, the, like I said, this is more for a use it. These opal ones, I would use more in things than I agree. By, on its own. Although if you don't like a su super sweet apple, then that's, then that's a really good apple. It is a really that. good one. Yes. So yeah, we'll come back in an hour and we'll give you uh, an this update. Is a yeah. Okay, right, here they are after actually two hours. We ended up leaving them for a longer period of time because they really change in, in half an hour. And they really haven't changed much even in two hours. Um, the um, sugar bee is, is a little bit darker, uh, but not a lot. I mean, it's it's still pretty, it's very firm still. And it got a little brown, so it's not bad. And this one really got a little brown around the edges a touch. But, um, but I mean, ultimately, they're perfectly fine to eat. You could, I think even after a couple hours, they're, they're not bad at all. So if you were to take these to work, um, slice them up and stick them in the refrigerator, I think they'd be perfectly fine. So even leaving out of the refrigerator, I think they'd be probably okay for a while. So I think either one of these would be a good choice for taking with you. So we appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time.